what's good y'all it's your boy ross back again with another video so we're gonna check out bray wyatt his real reason or the real reason why wwe had released him a few months back and we're gonna also talk about wwe canceling the tlc pay-per-view that was supposed to happen in december of this year so we're gonna get into both of these stories man appreciate all the love and support i know this has been the talk of on youtube and in, in the wrestling community for the past few uh i want to say for the past day day and a half or whatnot so we're gonna get into this i'm gonna give my thoughts and opinions on it and go from there from these articles so the first article is from wrestling inc bray wyatt reportedly had issues in the lead up to his wwe release there were reportedly multiple issues in the lead up to wwe releasing bray wyatt uh well i don't know how to pronounce his first name properly Wyndham rotunda back in the summer it was noted by andrew uh, zarian of the matt man podcast how wyatt was being a uh, being a little difficult in the lead up to his release and that he had performance issues in the ring as well as issues with his weight it was also said that wyatt just wasn't happy which understandably so if you're not happy in what you're doing then you may need to step away from it these were not the reasons for why it released according to zarian but uh, uh but a number of issues led to the decision to cut the former WWE Universal Champion. It had been reported that Wyatt and others in the company were told that he was released due to budget cuts, which is a lot what people were speculating, what the rumors were being said. It was budget cuts. But at the same, but at the time, many people in the company reportedly did not believe that was that was it, as Wyatt was a strong merchandise mover and no money maker. This new report notes that while finances were weren't the only reason for Wyatt's release, it was one of the many to, that led to uh, the departure. It was also reiterated that these release decisions are not cut and dry. The report on Wyatt's weight issues is interesting as photos surface of Wyatt with a fan where Wyatt appeared to be in much better shape. Here is the photo at hand. And dude looks much slimmer than when he was in WWE. <laughs> he looks like he's been working on his physique. He's been working out. Dude looks healthy as hell. Looks much better, man. So it's good to see that he has been keeping up with his health. So that is good to know. Um, the photo surfaced on social media just two days before WWE re announced Wyatt's release. So, wow, he was actually looking pretty good, and they still released him. Rotunda has been rumored <clears throat> to be in talks with AEW and Impact Wrestling, but there's no solid word on where he is headed next. WWE released Rotunda from his contract back in on Saturday, July 31st of this year. If he's under a standard 90-day non-complete clause, uh, with WWE, he, he would become a free agent on Friday, October 29th. So, <clears throat> that is literally later on this month. And uh, from that picture that we saw, he was looking uh, pretty healthy before WWE released him. I knew it wasn't budget cuts when they were talking about it. It definitely was not budget cuts. Apparently, they weren't happy with was, what was going on with him. They weren't happy with his look. They weren't happy with, with I guess, his, you know, what he was producing. And he wasn't happy either. So I think it was more, I, it seems like it was more along the lines of them just meeting a mutual, mutual understanding and deciding to part ways, but they released him. That's what it seems like, because it doesn't seem like he was too upset about it, because reports were saying that he was unhappy himself he wasn't really feeling it and i'm just glad that he's worked on his health he's lost more weight it's all about making sure at the end of the day your mental your health is more important than the dollar bill there's no point of being in a place where you're not mentally there you're not emotionally invested you're you're, you're not healthy this is why i can't get mad at people like cm punk and Daniel Bryan and whoever else who chooses to leave, who chooses not to extend their contract, because at the end of the day, 
when it's all said and done, your health, your mental, and your physical health, and your happiness. That's more important than anything else. So it would be cool if he does come back to WWE. But I've said this in the past, and I will keep saying this again. I do not want him to come back to WWE if they're going to continuously book him in a way where it doesn't make sense. If they're not going to utilize him properly, there's no point in bringing him back. And if he does go to AEW, I think that would be cool as well. I think that would be dope if he if he is able to go to AEW and they utilize him correctly. I don't think he should go to Impact because not many people are watching that. And I feel like someone as talented as him, if the, cre uh, the characters he creates and how he believes in the characters that he create i think he deserves to be on a mainstream setting where he deserves to be seen by a lot of people so i wish him the best for him and uh, you know we'll see where where things lead to when he becomes a free agent wwe reportedly cancels tlc in december no pay-per-view will air that month man no tlc let's see if we can figure out why According to the reports, WWE has taken the decision to cancel the Tables, Ladders, and Chairs pay-per-view event that was originally slated to take place in December. On the latest Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer notes that TLC, which has originally slated for December 12th, has been canceled by WWE. The decision was made to cancel the show according to Meltzer because two pay-per-views are going to, going to be taking place in January. Damn. Two pay-per-views? God damn. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to my issue with WWE and their overabundance in pay-per-views. Let me get to that. Along with the Royal Rumble at the end of the month, WWE is going to be putting on the uh, day one pay-per-view on New Year's Day, which is why TLC has been canceled. Oh, the decision was made that originally there was going to be a pay-per-view in Chicago at the All-State Arena in mid-December. And the feeling is now that doing 12 a year and in, in the December pay-per-view will actually be January 1st in Atlanta. The idea of doing January 1st rather than doing mid-late December. And then they're still going to do Royal Rumble as the January pay-per-view. A lot of people were wondering when they moved the December Chicago date from being a pay-per-view to being a television taping, who's going to get the pay-per-view? And the answer is that there is no that there is no pay-per-view. WWE has put TLC pay-per-view every single year since the gimmick show was introduced in 2009 and it doesn't look like it's going to be taking place in 2021 this also means wwe will only put on two pay-per-view events for the remainder of 2021 which is crown jewel uh next thursday and survivor series next month on november 21st you can find out the latest news about survivor series and uh included dwayne rock johnson is going to be involved at the show Hey, I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. This is from uh, GiveMeSports.com. My issue I've been having with WWE when it comes to their pay-per-view selection, I think it's too many. I think it's too many. I get it. They're trying to capitalize on having a pay-per-view on the first of the year. First of the, of the new year is on a Saturday. So I, I get it. It makes sense. I didn't even know that. But at the same time, I don't think they need to do that. I think, I mean, granted, of course, we got Crown Jewel. And then we would have Survivor Series and then TLC, which is, I think TLC would have been fine in the place that it was in, but then to backdoor to have TLC to be on the first, and then you have the Royal Rumble later on that month. Two pay-per-views in one month is kind of, it, it makes builds harder to build, if it makes any sense. I think what makes pay-per-views work is, you get time to progress the storylines between characters of course the royal rumble builds itself but at the same time you want other storylines to be important you don't want it to just only be about the royal rumble you want to have important matches important feuds it's hard to do that when you just had a pay-per-view and then two to three weeks later you have another major pay-per-view so that's always been my issue lately with WWE. They've just added too many pay-per-views. We already have a, a plethora of pay-per-views set up. So I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, I, I get it. Falls on a Saturday, the first of the year. You want everyone to, you know, 
be hyped for the new year and watch your show. I get that, but I feel like it's just a little bit too much. And they could have just had it in December and just promote from December all the way to the end of January. Whenever you're going to have the Royal Rumble, be promoted at. Build up stories leading up to that. You can have some special shows. Maybe have like a special show leading up to the new year or Monday Night Raw and, uh, and Friday Night Smackdown. Have special shows. Make those shows feel, you know, special like mini pay-per-views like they used to do. You don't have to have a pay-per-view every single month. You can skip a month. But, hey, I don't run the company. I'm just the guy that watches the company. So, comment down below. Let me know if you guys would want to see Bray Wyatt back in the WWE. Or would you like to see him in AEW? Or for some odd reason, you would want to see him in Impact Wrestling. Let me know down below. Also, do you guys feel like... The TLC pay-per-view should be in January on the same month as the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Or do you guys feel like it should, should have still been in December? And also, do you guys feel like WWE has too many pay-per-views on their hand? I would love to get your thoughts and opinions on this. Appreciate all the love. Sport Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.